Because that's a shield. Oh my god, dude. That was a one shot. Yo, what's going on, guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Nidalee here in Season 12 League of Legends. For your runes, you're gonna want Dark Harvest, Sun Impact, Eyeball Collection with Relentless Hunter, Water Walking, and Nimbus. If you don't want to take Ignite as your secondary summoner spell, you would want to go for um, Transcendence instead. But Nimbus, really good, kind of regardless, especially if you're going to go with Ignite. That way, your Smite and Ignite will speed you up. Then we have Attack Speed, AP, and Armor. We are playing Nidalee with Ignite, so it can be a little bit more aggro. She plays a lot like a Kindred, since she can hop over walls on low cooldown. And she is ranged, so AP Kindred it is. So her invades are pretty good. But if you don't have Ignite, there are a lot of junglers you'll lose against. Anything that you can think of that comes to your mind when you think of a strong one versus one jungler, like Zinzao, Warwick, Graves, can all be quite challenging for you on Nidalee. If you have Ignite, you can close that distance, completely wreck their heal cut, and take control of the game. Nidalee clears way better off of blue side than off a of red side. So we're going to keep our clear nice and tight in three camp clear. Their bot lane's still missing, as you can see on the mini map. I'll attack Q reset. So what we're going to do is hop over and try to three camp invade this guy. You can full clear on it. That's totally, totally fine. Nothing wrong with that. We want to get him back on our trap. Every time you mark an opponent with your Q or your W, it puts your R on zero second cooldown. And it also puts your jump on a reduced cooldown as well, giving you a lot more damage output. It's very important to do, especially against your multi-target camps. Otherwise, you'll pretty much just die. We are getting very low on health. Don't worry, we'll get back to full health here in a second once we're level 3. Nidalee can get low in her jungle, especially the tighter you keep your clear the uh, low on health you'll be, but by the end of it, you should be full HP. Irelia is very low. We could probably go over there and kill her. Got our bush mobility. Actually, she's actually kind of tough. She's got a mini wave and everything. I I'm okay with what we did. She may not have been easy to get to if she still had flash. So we'll chill for this guy. We're gonna drop Q on him. W into him, cute. Got our ignite. Down he goes. And we still have our smite charge, so he's gonna be in a rough spot. Very rough spot indeed. We'll go ahead and kite this out. We need to get out of here because of the uh, Irelia. She's gonna be heading over here. Whenever you're near a bush, if you can, try to walk into it. You'll get extra mobility. Nidalee moves really fast towards champions and utilizing bushes, so... Bushes are your friend with Nid. That's what we are going to be trying to use as much as possible. Bushes plus water walking is kind of insane. And like I said, you'll get back to full HP on Nidalee, so don't worry. You may get low at times, just keep kiting the camp. You'll be good to go. Graves got what was coming to him. Yeah, I think he just took Scuttle Crab. Good toss down a Q W. Hop right over. Try to pull him into it. It's important that you're marking with both your Q and your W. Rip. Because if you only mark with one. That's only one reduced cooldown you're going to get off of your W, so keep that in mind. Because the mark lasts for a while, it lasts for like 5 seconds, so... If you're not familiar with Nidalee, you might be tricked, you're like, oh, why didn't my W go on uh, half cooldown or whatever? Well, it's probably didn't go on cooldown, because you only used either just your Q or just your W instead of both. So you didn't get that double W reset. First item rush, we'll go ahead and stack as much damage as we can. I really is going to be pretty challenging to deal with. She has four times his CS rip. She's going to be pretty scary for GP. 
might actually be able to gank her. She's low health at the moment. We could grab our uh, level five real quick. Gank it. Heal ourselves, get that extra attack speed. Finish it off. We need our trap behind her. Force her to path around it. E auto attack. Use my dash once I have to to kind of close distance. I think she's dead. Yeah, that last auto attack we got. Put her in a bit of a spot. I want some of this XP. I don't really want to steal the last hits though. Nice. All right, we'll take that. Very nice. Oh man, nothing there. Nothing at all. Niles is six. I think we can make it work. He's missing a lot of health. Get a Q from out of vision, miss it. E, Q, W. Down he goes. In a perfect world, you'd be using your Cougar Q last because it's an execute. In this case, I was saving my jump to kind of close distance, give myself extra time to kill him, get more autos on him. My red buff's up. I think Graves might be here. I'll check it first. W, E, Q, lead him into my trap. Swap back into human form, land an ability so we can get back into Cougar. Your Cougar abilities are a lot more spammable. They also don't have a mana cost, which is nice. Uh, she has played Steel Caps now. Gank might be a little bit more challenging. She'll be able to soak a lot more of GP's damage. We'll see. My Ignite's up, so we can probably make it work. I healed myself even though I was full HP there. Because I want that bonus attack speed from my... Uh, E, so that way we can take this a bit quicker. Don't know. Okay, there she is. That was actually making me really nervous that she was still missing. Did she break my blast cone or did I do that? It actually looks kind of gankable. That vampiric isn't going to help her at all. Yeah, she's running. This is going to be a long chase. Dodge that. We're going to ignite our. Hit her with our Q execute. She's so low on health that you saw our level four Cougar Q absolutely eliminated her. Plus she doesn't have any magic resist. So she's taking a lot of damage from us right now. Starting to hit our power spike on Ned. W to check the bush, give this vision. He's on it right now or he's in the area. Got it. Malzahar is gonna rotate over here in a second. Oh! Yeah, double dark harvest, that's hilarious. I don't think Malzahar knew exactly where I was there, or he didn't realize he was that low on health, because holy crap, he kind of walked himself into that one. They're both dead. I could take Krugs right now, or I could go for this. I feel like this is a lot safer, rip, because I really can't threaten me while I'm on this. I don't want to let GP die. I'll go ahead and heal him. That sucks. Canceled my Herald. I don't know if she would have been able to kill him if I didn't come. I feel like she maybe could have. So hopefully our canceling Herald wasn't for absolutely nothing. As I miss my spear like a goofball. You're spamming your abilities pretty much nonstop on Nidalee since you have to cycle them. Sometimes you end up uh, <laughs> using one in a way you didn't intend. Or at least that happens to me. Hopefully that doesn't happen to you. Just go ahead and smite it. Nidalee still doesn't have any HP or magic resist. Or I should say Irelia still doesn't have any HP or magic resist. Hopefully I'm not saying all the names wrong this game. That happens sometimes when I'm tired. So yeah, she still doesn't have an HP or magic resist, the Irelia. Really none of their team has HP or magic resist. They're all pretty gankable for us right now. 
think I'm gonna go ahead and reset though. Get my items. First item rush, usually rocket belt's the best. Gives you more options. I'm actually feeling the mesh rush though. I'll be greedy. I don't mind. We're about to get a bunch of gold anyways. We're gonna lay Herald top side, crack this turret. Pretty close game, six to eight. It's funny that Timo was losing to Irelia, but now he's catching up against Malzahar. I think it'd be the opposite. Oof. Oof. I put my... <laughs> my jump was on the full cooldown. So when it was time to shine, we couldn't do it. Big oof. Oh, what's going on here? Oh my god, I got there. <laughs> if my spear would have landed, probably could have saved him. Oh well. At least we got a little bit of mesh out of that. And we're going to get turret as well, so. In the end, it's okay. GP's pretty strong right now. Irelia hasn't done much with her lead. GP's just as fed or more fed than her, even though he has less CS. He got a shot down and he also, I think GP gets extra gold if I'm not mistaken. In his kit, I could be wrong on that. I might be thinking back to the old Kleptomancy days. I think he does get some kind of thing for free when he farms. Let me save my dash, I can go over here. Where is this Graves at, man? Your W is really, really nice for uh, setting up traps on the enemies because that whole side, like if he's going to walk over there, he's going to step on that. So I can stand over here and set up that side, have everything kind of on lockdown. Oh my god. He ran so far back, dude. Tragic. Graves is mid, looks like he didn't actually take my red buff, which is kind of sweet. Very good for us. Don't know if I really saw us or not. Uh, looks like Graves wants a piece. He's a fool. I'm getting all, so much movement speed into him. Goodbye. I really decided she didn't want to chase. She's still in that bush. Malzahar, you don't have R. What are you going to do? Yep. The shield's going to completely soak that, and his minions are eating me alive. Holy moly, he's chunking, dude. He's shredding me. Boy, oh boy. What a champion. We don't quite the lead with Mesh. I think our late game scaling will be decent because of that. We also have the uh, Dark Harvest because we missed our Q again. We're going to have to keep playing for these objectives. Team as a whole is uh, giving the enemy some decent trades. Samir is popping off. She's still not even full item. How is she getting doubles like that? I don't know. She's doing it somehow though. Alright, Malzahar, say your prayers. Got him! Let's go, baby! <laughs> One of our only long range keys of the game. Amazing. So satisfying when they connect. It's like hitting a new snowball. It's a beautiful thing. Don't know where Graves is, so I'll actually hold on to my heal for now. Oh, there he is. He's chasing my Teemo. He says, yo, Nidalee. He's got something to say. He says, I'm throwing? How am I throwing? All right, I'm going to go into try-hard mode. Doesn't matter if I'm sleepy. I can eke out a little bit more performance.
I juked her stun, otherwise I literally would have died. Holy crap. Why does Malzar say I'm throwing though? That's wild. I guess he's saying that just because I killed him. <laughs> what the heck? What a goober, dude. That was a bad second trap. There's no reason to stack them like that. The damage doesn't stack like you think it would. Oh, sick. Got the ward. <laughs> I'm fairly farm fed. I'll go ahead, grab second Herald here. Might as well. Swap back into human form. Unlike Elise, being in cougar form doesn't make you faster. And it doesn't give you more damage. So on Italy, most of the time, you're just walking around in human form. Because when you're in human form, you can swap into tiger and the cougar form super consistently. Since whenever you land an ability, it lets you go into that. When you land a Q or a W, so really no reason to even walk around in cougar. If you're doing that, you're just playing on autopilot like me. You're being a goofball. I'm going to push him off the turret. Oh, we landed it too, but this chick's going to push us off. Oh, I might die here. This Teemo Shroom might save me. Hey, let's go. <laughs> Samir is so aggro. It's crazy. Give me those double W's. Did I just get a Dark Harvest stack? I don't know where Samaria is. I'm running towards the river and the bushes because no matter where she is, if I, can, if I can get in the river or bush, I could probably get away from her even if I accidentally walk into her there. It's gotta be near a bush. Graves just died. Does he have camps up? Oh, he does. My, my. Don't mind if I do. This guy's missing out on so much CS. It's insane. We're killing him at the worst times. Oh, Mal's just got a solo kill, dang. I don't think Samir can reach me from here. Malzahar just got a double kill. What the heck? Two of them are over there tickling my pickle. Meanwhile, Malzahar is doing the ultimate tickle pickle. Outrageous. A downright scam, if I say so myself. Oh, he knew. Graves, why you gotta do me like that? I am certainly throwing with double heralds, 100%. <laughs> double heralds and 12 out of 15 KP. On the bright side, Yasuo is scaling. He'll hit the uh, one in 10 power spike eventually, I believe. I'll let him have that, even though he really shouldn't be taking that. He gets less XP from it than I do. A little less XP. Okay, I need to reset. What am I doing? Sitting on 6k gold. I was getting away since I had mesh. I'm gonna go straight into. Oh, I guess I should finish my item. You know, we'll go Night Harvester. I know it's not the meta on Italy, but uh, it's gonna be a little bit more consistent with our current build, I think. Night Harvester is gonna feel really nice with our spears. Gonna give them that additional, for right now, 200 extra damage and speed us up. Be very nice. For most games, though, you should be running uh, Rocket Belt for sure. Rocket Belt. Well, I guess it depends on your skill level. If you really struggle using activatable items, then you shouldn't be building Rocket Belt. Why is it so hard to get where I want to go? Such a goofy herald. 
so many wards here, man. Oh! Oh, baby. Oh my god, she's fed. Is she gonna chase this? Oh, okay, nice, nice, nice. I'm losing so much health though. I'll be taking that, y'all, so thanks. Thank you very much. He gets the knock up. And we are officially throwing, guys. Malzahar coming in with the uh, heavy duty predictions there. Get the spear, W in the EQ. Oh, wow, we missed that. Incredible. Now we need to start setting up the jungles. Ooh, Mouse just saw me. He might actually be able to one shot me. Where did he go? That is baffling. Oh, he's right there. Somebody, please don't let Malzahar solo me, guys. He can, too, if he just presses R on me. I'll be giga outplayed by that. So I miss every spear in the game. Dear God, not like this. Yeah. All right, that might be GG's. <laughs> I can't do anything else. <laughs> I just gave them a thousand gold. I did the sin of all sins of dying and bleeding more than three kills worth of gold, man. Brutal. Uh, Probably Void Staff at this point. We need some penetration. Our biggest issue is that they are playing as a team and they have Yumi. Yumi is making this so much harder than it needs to be. She can soak a spear, just hide on a teammate, I can't kill her. And then whoever she's on, it's gonna be difficult for me to kill. With normal supports, normal enchanters are squishy enough to where you can one-shot them and they can't really get away. Yumi's the exception, dude. Even if she is one HP, if she gets on a teammate, she becomes untouchable. She's got that special perk. She's got that Mossad child predator perk that Jeffrey Epstein was rocking there. You can go wherever she wants, do whatever she wants. You can't do anything about it. That's what I don't like about that champion, man. She just breaks the game in that aspect. I don't know about that, GPP. Holy moly. She should have tried to focus me, dude, because she got freaking destroyed. That one Tiger Q, dude. 375, okay, so it must have been a lot of the execute damage. Hey, humors. Goodbye. All right, all I have to do is land a few spears. That's all there is to it. Oh my god! Dubstep Ignite, let's go! <laughs> That's sick. We need to take as much base as we can. Yasuo, come back. You're full health now. Now, this is where we set up our traps. We don't let them approach. Oh my gosh, that spear really did miss. Gonna heal Teemo up, and we'll look for some big javelins. <sighs> oh man, that's so disappointing. Oh my goodness, she, she got Teemo poison. She stepped on one of my traps. I'm out of mana though. I, I, I need to be in the jungle. I am out of mana. I'm getting 21 back per second now. I went from 4% to 14% in the matter of five seconds. As my team throws, I'm out of mana guys, run. Jiminy Cricket, I pinged out of mana. No one wanted to believe it. 
That mid could run out of mana. Yumi just nearly got one shot there. Holy guacamole, dude. Yumi almost died from that. If I had spent my gold, Yumi would be dead. I'm still out of mana, too. Yumi's gonna have to get some magic resist, because that was disgusting. Absolutely gross. They're not approaching that bush. I really need a, a trap in that bush. Give me myself a little bit more safety. I'm trying to bait him out by holding on to my heel a little bit longer. That nasty hoe took my blue buff. What the heck? Oh, I'm dead. Oh my god, I trolled. I got stunned. I did actually throw there. <sighs> Two item Irelia. Uh, I guess I'm three item plus Mej. Wow, she chunks. She's the same level as me. How does that work? That's the weird thing in League. Even if you get your way more gold fed than someone, it doesn't mean you're a higher level. And Irelia's about. Teemo, shoot Irelia. Holy moly, dude. That was so close. They're gonna get that dragon, it is what it is. At this point, we need Zhonya's, or we need Lich, or we need uh, Horizon Focus. It's a really tough call. I think Lich might be worth it. Horizon Focus. Increases the, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I think Lich might be worth, because I'm actually having to use a lot of my melee moves. A lot of my cues. People like Irelia. If, we, if we're going to win this game, we're basically going to have to get an ace and then win off that. Because, uh... Dude, the KPs... I haven't played many games where the KPs are this low. Like 3-7, 2-7, 2-6. Across the board. I don't know, man. I think it is winnable, though. These Teemo streams are doing work. Just need to uh, not walk into a bush where Irelia is. I'll lay my bushwhacks right on the shroom so when they step on it, they get double, double wrecked. You can have a lot of bushwhacks out, 10 at once right now. I'll just keep tossing them. I'm not gonna run out of mana since I'm in the jungle. Hey Graves, goodbye Graves. I see where the Samira is, and now I can set up a bushwhack. Ooh, got Malzahar, that's freaking enormous, man. For it to get Malzahar like that, cause that's his shield. Oh my God, dude, that was a one shot. That was a literal one shot. Goodbye, Yumi. Holy smokes. Woo! Lich Bane autos. I say we just end, bro. GP needs to back. I just missed my jump. I actually just missed my jump. Yasuo is back to full health. GP backs to base. We'll see if he can handle that. I'm going to heal Yasuo so he gets more attack speed. Graves just got freaking destroyed. That's GG's, man. Holy moly. GG's well played. Let's take a look at the graphs. Malzahar, dude. He was right. I was, uh, I was throwing there. We'll go ahead and... 
honestly, even though the whole team was struggling, everyone was still pretty useful. I'd say Teemo and Thresh. It's like a three-way tie between Teemo, Thresh, and GP who would get the honor here. I'll give it to Teemo for staying cool. All right, looking at graphs, we had the most in the game there at 38K, pretty sweet. Damage taken, took the most on our team, so we we're also the tank for our team. And we got some pretty high value out of our runes. All in all, I really like this Nidalee playstyle. I find full clearing on her to be extremely tedious and boring. Playing her more like a uh, AP Kindred is a lot more fun. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.